Today is May 6, 2013, 520 p.m. Pacific Time. Next, DHS whistleblower says war on terror is a charade. Real targets are American patriots. This is by Tim Brown of the Freedom Outpost. It's dated May 6, 2013. Julia Davis, a former Customs and Border Protections officer, was falsely declared a domestic terrorist and subjected to retaliatory efforts against her by the Department of HS. Her home was raided by a 27-man special response team. She was twice falsely arrested and imprisoned, but later exonerated. She is now a national security expert and has put out a historical documentary titled Top Priority, The Terror Within. She claims that the war on terror by the DHS is a charade and that the agency seems to be targeting concerned American patriots. And here's a video of her and it's called DHS Whistleblower Censored from 60 Minutes. And I'm going to play just a little bit of it for you, not the whole thing, because it runs 19 minutes long. And let's begin. What does it say about a government that persecutes those that tell the truth? We hear so much today about anti-government as if it's a bad thing. I think that many of us hear the phrase anti-government and we envision some fringe element of society lurking in the shadows. But is anti-government really a proper description of those it is used against? who are only striving for legitimate and lawful government? When a government acts beyond the bounds of its legal character, it ceases to be legitimate. When it acts outside of the law, as we have seen recently in the Fast and Furious scandal, it is no different than any other criminal organization with one powerful exception. It maintains the color of the illusion of legitimacy. When governments allow unlawful conduct and use the power and control of government to cover up these unlawful acts, is exposing that corruption anti-government? Our next guest knows far too well about what a government may be capable of. She was a Customs and Border Protections officer who was falsely declared a domestic terrorist and subjected to retaliation of unprecedented proportions by the Department of Homeland Security for simply doing her job. Her home was raided with a Black Hawk helicopter and a 27-man special response team. She was twice falsely arrested and in prison, but later exonerated and found factually innocent. National security expert Julia Davis is a producer of a historical documentary that dared to expose the truth, titled Top Priority. In spite of the government censorship and the mainstream media blackout, this is the documentary the government does not want you to see. Julia, welcome to the program. What an amazing story you have. First of all, before we talk about your film, the government had actually labeled you as a domestic terrorist. What do you say to that? I think it's uh, quite outrageous. And if anyone told me beforehand that something like this could happen in America, I would have never believed them. But uh, once it happened, then I started researching the history of the way the government has been treating whistleblowers. Uh, I started to see a definite pattern. And um, as uh, Thomas Jefferson said, it is the duty of the patriot to protect his country from. Okay, folks, I want to stop right there. If you'd like to read the rest of it and watch the video, I'll put a link at the bottom. Thanks for watching and please stay safe. Pink out.